contact precautions are infection control measures that are taken to prevent the spread of diseases that can be transmitted by contact with contaminated surfaces or clothing. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, transmission-based precautions are used in the hospital for patients with a known or suspected infection that requires control measures to prevent it from spreading. The three primary types include contact precautions, droplet precautions, and airborne infection isolation. Each type is classified according to the route of transmission for the disease. However, for this video, we are primarily focusing on diseases that can be transmitted by physical contact. Contact precautions are used to protect patients and medical professionals from the spread of infectious diseases. This type of infection control requires healthcare personnel and visitors to wear gloves and protective gowns for each interaction with the patient or their environment. This is helpful in decreasing the spread of multi-drug resistant organisms such as C. diff. The implementation of contact precautions involves the following steps. First, place the patient in a private room. Second, wash your hands before entering the patient's room. Also, you're going to want to wear gloves and a protective gown when entering the room. After caring for the patient, then you will want to make sure to remove your gloves and gown before leaving the patient's room. Next, you're going to want to wash your hands again before leaving the room. And in general, you should limit patient transport outside of their room. You should also use dedicated medical equipment for the patient if possible. Also, you're going to want to properly clean and disinfect any equipment that cannot be dedicated to the infected patient. And another important step is to educate the patient and their family about contact precautions. As previously mentioned, Contact precautions are important in preventing the spread of infectious diseases between patients and healthcare workers. Therefore, all medical personnel must be trained on the proper use of personal protective equipment, aka PPE. This includes when to put on and remove gloves, gowns, and masks before, during, or after each patient interaction. In addition, all medical staff must know how to properly clean and disinfect any equipment or surfaces that may have been contaminated by an isolated patient. It is important to remember that contact precautions are not a substitute for good hand hygiene. Researchers estimated that 4% of all hospitalized patients in the United States develop a healthcare-associated infection. This refers to an infection that is acquired while receiving treatment for another condition in the healthcare setting. Many cases can be prevented with proper hand hygiene and infection control measures such as contact precautions. If you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors, this video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.